Since the release of Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, it has been humbling to witness the engagement of our community of players. And listening to your feedback has fueled even further our drive to improve the game. That's why today I'd like the team to put the spotlight on some of our latest title updates. We're excited to have introduced a 40 FPS mode, providing smoother gameplay while maintaining a high visual quality. This feature will be available if you're using a TV that supports 120 Hz and 4K resolution. It's now easier to hit the weak points on M-suits, allowing you to stealth around like a predator and take out most of them in one hit. We have increased the time it takes for our unit to call for reinforcements, prioritized the closest, and ensured that only one unit will be making the call. We noticed that the low and medium combat difficulty settings were quite challenging for a lot of players. So we made some tweaks to make them more accessible, for example, by lowering the damage uh, dealt by enemies. Not only have we increased the maximum riding speed of the Dire Horse, but we also made the riding speed be affected depending on what type of material you are riding on. On top of that, players can see animation improvements when riding at various speeds or when using their weapons. In order to make it more convenient to explore upper planes from the back of a Dire Horse, we made it possible to pick up certain harvestables without dismounting. Using the system interrogation device, or SEED for short, is now more intuitive. We have added visual representation of the signal frequency, as well as a prompt feedback on the screen when pressing too hard or too soft. Your Navi sensors help you navigate through the world of Pandora. This has been improved. Harvestable material stats now display all skills and buffs when viewed within the Hunter's Guide and when expecting with your Navi sensors. This allows you to plan for the perfect gear. We introduced some quality of life fixes, for example, by allowing you to access stashed goods from the crafting tables, uh, from the cooking stations, and also from the community baskets. That means you no longer need to move uh, materials from the stash to your inventory in order to use them. To keep you immersed in the game world, audio logs will now play it automatically when you pick them up in the open world. And when it comes to Apex challenges, which are those mini quests uh, that you complete to unlock Apex skills, we've also decreased their difficulty by removing or simplifying some of their conditions. Our engineers have added support for motion aiming with DualSense controllers. After enabling the new setting, players are able to fine-tune their aim with subtle movements of the DualSense controller. And finally, we have implemented a number of additional polish and quality of life improvements to various interactions and haptic effects throughout the game. We remain committed to the game and look forward to delivering to you even more content with our upcoming two story packs. Thank you and see you on Pandora.